A beautiful girl like you shouldn't be out for a walk this late. This city's a dangerous place. Besides, the stars aren't in alignment tonight. It's a bad omen. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm a cyber police officer. So you can read the stars. Are they always right? Usually. Some nights it can be difficult to interpret them. It's incredible that the light from those stars has taken millions of years to get here. How many lifetimes must it have taken for that light to reach the Earth? More than we can imagine, but the Earth is only the start of its great journey. An insignificant speck in the cosmos. That would be the most terrible curse. To go on forever. No, one day everything has to end. Even the light. is Ichiro Idojima, age 42 years. Records show he has been arrested on four previous occasions on charges of illegal biogenetic engineering. He had three acquittals and one conviction. This is the third one with neck wounds like this. I have to conclude, it's a vampire. But why is it written that number on the wall in blood? You are incorrect to assume this is the work of a vampire. They are mythical creatures and there is no evidence to support their existence. At present, I have insufficient data to interpret the meaning of the number on the wall. Thanks, you're such a help. Let's see what he was doing. Looks like a genetic binary code of some sort. That ties in with the other cases. All these men were conducting illegal research in the field of biotechnology. It's my guess they must have been working on something that somebody would like to keep quiet. If we can find out what it was, then it should lead us to whoever the criminal is. Now, I want this case wrapped up before anybody else dies. I thought vampires were supposed to sleep during the day. So let's forget about it till this evening. What? Don't you know anything, Sengaku? The day's the best time to catch a vampire and drive a stake through his heart. Do what you like. Just catch whoever's behind this and throw the bastard into prison. Vars asked, that number that was written on the wall, have you found out what it meant? At present, I have been unable to decipher it. The greatest probability is that it is a manufacturer or registration number of some sort. Possibility? That's not much fucking use, is it, dickhead? Yeah, you're gonna have to give us a bit more than that to go on. 
Yeah? Well, check this out and see if it gives us any clues. Hey, Benton, don't crap your pants if you see a vampire out there. Get lost. You wouldn't recognize a goddamn vampire if one jumped up and bit you on the end of your fucking dick. So just get off my back. I recognize the second guy. I met him about five years ago and he was trying to buy some unusual drugs, if you know what I mean. But I definitely haven't seen him since then. Perhaps I could interest you in this recreational compound of my own manufacture. Ah, I don't know nothing. I never even met those guys. I just heard they was into something heavy. I don't know what, though. It doesn't look like it did them any good. Well, let me see. The third man is Ichiro Edejima. He came to me about a month ago absolutely scared as hell. He wanted me to sell him a real big gun. .48 auto loader with high max shells. Uh, he must have been real scared to want it. Yeah, I heard he was dead. He used to be one of my regular customers. <laughs> he didn't talk much. You know, for some guys, that's all they want, just to talk. Mind you, he wasn't like that. He always wanted some action. Speaking of which, if you've got time to kill... No, thanks. Sorry, I can't help you. I never heard of any of them. Just a word of friendly advice, officer. But if I was you, I'd keep my nose out of other people's business. Otherwise, you know... You could have a nasty ass. <laughs> okay, what's so funny? Looky here, boys. We just caught ourselves a cyber piggy. <laughs> Pretty boy, too. I've got to hand it to you, boys. You're not as stupid.